Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. <clears throat> Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to tell you guys about Skyrim. And Skyrim, it has awesome magic. It actually has good magic compared to some other Elder Scrolls games like uh, Oblivion. We don't talk about magic in Oblivion. Magic is sucks in Oblivion. But, enough said. Why does Skyrim have a good magic system? And I think what it comes down to is the perk tree and the way that they use the perk tree. So normally, um, you know, in Oblivion, you level up and you have set perks for each magic level. And all the perks for the magic level, except for alchemy, are literally, oh, you can cast apprentice level spells, you can cast journeyman level spells, you can cast this level spell. So in Skyrim, it works a little bit differently. In Skyrim, you have the main perks that allow you to just cast apprentice level skills at half the magic, or journeyman skills at half the magic, right? You have those basic ones, but then you have some weird ones out there. Take, for instance, Destruction, okay? Um, there's one that, I don't remember if it's fire or lightning, I'm pretty, it's lightning. Lightning makes it so if someone hits a certain health, they just disintegrate and die. If you're, you're casting lightning. Lightning also does magic damage. You have fire, which has a burning effect. And then when someone gets to a low enough health, they just run around on fire. Frost ends up freezing someone. And it does more than just frost damage, it does stamina damage too. So you have to think about your spells more. Alteration has perks that make it so you absorb spells, you have magic resistance, and your stone flesh or the other skills that are like that are more effective if you don't have any armor on. So it kind of makes you think about the way that you play a little bit more and the perks that you choose a little bit more. Now you can power level yourself to get all of the perks in the game, but that takes forever. But there's more to it than just it's this type of damage or protect against this. Right? It's more than that. It's okay, you can protect against normal damage and if you take off your armor you protect against more damage. Conjuration. If you if you now if you use bound weapons, they also have soul traps. You don't have to worry about casting soul trap anymore. If you use bound weapons. And then you can combine it, bind the dagger, and then have a high sneak skill so you just completely decimate someone with the dagger. Because there's a perk in there that does makes you do dagger damage. Right, so it's all these things in Skyrim that add on top of the magic system other than it's a conjured sword and you have a high sword skill. It's a con- it's- y you just cast a fireball at that guy and did X damage. It's more than that. It- it's the perk system and it makes it unique and how it interacts with other skills and the metas that you can make in Skyrim. Are- it's just- that's why the magic system is awesome. And honestly, it's not as required as it was in Oblivion. In Oblivion, if you wanted to make a good character, you had to have some magic in there. Now in Skyrim, you can kind of play the way that you want. I mean, I guess casting Protect before you go into a battle is important, but even then, is your magic upgraded high enough? I don't know. I haven't played enough Skyrim to figure that out yet. But that's what I think of the Skyrim magic system. What do you think about it? I really like it, actually. I kind of think it's perfect enough to where it's not overcomplicated, but it's not super simple. It's kind of in between, and it's good a good meta-type game. So, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Blog or Steam a Post of whatever I decide to make.